Hi, my name is Mary. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to embroider a backpack with the PE800. If you'd like to learn more about sewing, serging, and machine embroidery, hit the subscribe button below. This is the backpack that I am going to embroider. At my son's school, everything has to be labeled, including the backpack. And I thought it would be a great idea to embroider his backpack. So I'm going to first start off by taking off this patch so I have a nice area to hoop. This magnetic hoop, I will link it in my video notes below. It comes with these magnets. I felt like I didn't have enough, so I ordered extra. So I've centered my project. Now I'm going to make sure that everything stays in place with this temporary adhesive 505. This hoop uses heavy duty magnets to keep everything in place. Because it's a odd shaped item that we're embroidering, I am going to use safety pins to keep these in place up here. So now I'm making sure that it's right in the center. I'm using the Husqvarna Viking embroidery needle 130 over 705 H-E90. So this is my test piece. I just floated it on this hoop to make sure that everything's going to stitch out correctly. check on that and see how that worked out. It did miss a spot here, so I'm going to adjust my settings and try it again. I had my embroidery tension on three. I'm going to try it with embroidery tension on two now to see how that works out. And this time I'm going to use the large font. I'm going to move it over some so I don't run over what I had already. Okay, and now I'm going to check this out.
different font with a tension of two. I'm going to be using this font, number one, and I'm going to be putting in the letters now. You could tell on the back that the embroidery stitching looks good. There's two thirds of the stitching from the front that shows through on the back and about one third of the stitching from the bobbin shows on the back and none of the bobbin thread shows through the top which is perfect. So now I have it all lined up. It's ready to go on the machine and I just need to pull down this lever and an embroidery and my machine's ready to go. Using these curved scissors, it really helps with preventing you from messing up any of your embroidery, and it's they're also very sharp. So let's do that. Turn that off. Turn that off. Sometimes I also use these to just get in really close on one end and then I just trim off the end with these nice curved scissors. Makes it the job a little bit easier, cutting off all the jump stitches. Okay, and there it is. I'm really happy with how that turned out. These are little th black threads left over from the patch that was on it. So, so you can embroider on a backpack. It was really simple. I used the tension number two, and I'm going to make sure that my machine's ready for my next project. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe below if you'd like to see more projects with my embroidery machine or sewing machine or my brother Serger 1034D. Thank you. Bye-bye.